How you doing, Kelly? I'm doing better. I got uh, tested with COVID a week ago. Oh my goodness. Got kicked the fever. Uh, I'm getting tired, but uh, still getting back in the training, which is healthy. Wow. Yeah, do you know how you caught it? Um. Well, my bar was pretty much. I'm just oh. never made social media. It's like the Wild West. All West right. West yeah, West yeah, West yeah, West yeah. West. Bar. Oh man, that's that's tough. Yeah, but, but uh, only a week. That that's pretty good. Most people will, seems to me it sounds like most people are out of commission a little bit longer than that. Yeah, well, I'm supposed to stay. I'm, I am until at least Saturday. Um, I know four or five of my other close friends that had the same type of strain. I guess I want to call it where. You had to be the first couple of days and just tired ever since, so that's not following the status quo behind them as far as what happened to them. But I, you know, I, I just took a doctor with the amount of times I had pneumonia. I got no immune system in one kidney. So it's uh, this is unique. It's a strange sickness, a strange virus in itself, and it uh, makes you think you're better than it pulls you right back. Right. So, All right. Just take it easy. All right. Take it easy and bring it back. So, well, I'm, glad you, I'm glad you're doing all right. All right, let's uh, let's see what we got here. Is you, is you got any specific questions? I'm just gonna go through the charts and see what we got. If there's anything looking good. Uh, just got from when I was with Jared. He was looking at a sell for Euro USD and a buy for the US yen, both midterm trades. But I like I like what you do. Typically do on this, man. I always every time you do it, it makes it seem so easy, and then I go to do it. Like, I <laughs> The 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 uh, all right. So uh, euro dollar. Uh, I I uh, I don't like this right now. We're in the middle of the channel, uh, 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 so I'm I'm going to pass. Uh, uh, dollar a pound. Well, actually, first, real quick. Uh, let me just uh, here we go. I'm supposed to go through the. Uh, Disclosure real quick. Uh, trades for educational purposes only. All information given is speculative and involves risk. Trades should be examined and taken from a personal evaluation. All attendees agree by watching that any trades he or she takes was of individual influence based on personal evaluation of the market. Webinar's intention is to demonstrate a method that can be used to help make an evaluation of the current market. No past, present, or future outcomes have been made or relied upon prior uh, to or during this meeting. All right, so we got that. Uh, one last quick check. I checked it before, but uh, uh, let's see if there's any news affecting anything. This Earlier this morning, there was stuff on the, uh, on the pound. Uh, uh, so all of this is passed. Uh, so there's nothing here until tonight we get a red signal on the Australian dollar where they're going to discuss monetary policy. So uh, we got nothing to worry about. Uh, uh, pound dollar uh, oversold uh, going down. Uh, Australian US dollar, we got mixed signals here and it hasn't really crossed. Miners are going up, mids are going down, so I don't like that. Dollar Swiss franc. Uh, everybody's pointing down. Uh, we got the double cross. We're overbought. So we got three points here. I got the two orange lines going down and the two blue lines going up. I got four points here. I got steep up pressure, but I got green on top. If we had red on top, I would consider this. Uh, uh, and we've got the gap here. It looks like the gap is starting to close, so that red might cross over, but it's not there yet. Uh, uh, dollar yen. Uh, did you say he had a buy signal on this? Midterm buy, yeah. Midterm buy. Well, you got. See, uh, I'm not familiar enough with this. Uh, I. With, with the with the dollar yen, we're, we're overbought. Uh, how much more up is there in in the overbought? I don't know. 
Uh, we do have green crossing over, uh, which typically signifies a a, uh, a buy, but you've got you've got kind of a gap here. This gap to me says we're going to get retracement, so it's going to be coming back down. Uh, so I don't like this enough. Like if this were the euro dollar and I had this, maybe there's some more buying the movement, but I don't like this enough. So let's see, dollar Canadian. Uh, we're more than halfway through the channel. So we, we've kind of missed this move. We're a little late on it. If we were a little lower, uh, we'd have three points up, up, uh, down three here and we've got up pressure so if you saw this an hour ago Damn. uh just crossing uh this is going up steep so you got three three actually you had four here and you've got up pressure then the question is, what would it have been worth? Uh, uh, let's take a look. You know, so far it's already moved. You got, you know, you could have easily got ten pips out of that. Let's see what else we got. Uh, pound yen or euro yen? Not yet. Uh, Australian yen, not yet. Euro CAD still going up. Uh, uh, AUD, NZD still going up. NZD, USD coming down. All right, so I got three points here. The two oranges going down, dotted blue going up, three of the four here, and I got red just crossed over. So let's actually go, to, go ahead and take a look at this. So I'm going to open up. Uh, I'm going to open up, let's open up this guy and I'll change it to NZD USD. So we're catching this guy right at the beginning. And we're going to change this to... NZD USD. So first, let's figure out our support and resistance. Crunch them up a little bit. Huh. So right in here. Right in here, right in here, 42, now right in here, right in here, right in here, in here, let's get one below. here um, the one above
right, so down, up, kind of sideways the last day and a half. You could argue it's a little bit of an uptrend. Um, all right, so let's say we are trading into an uptrend. Uh, uh, we have we got seven down and sixteen up. So let's go back. All right, so down, down. Uh, this is starting to turn here. Down, uh, up pressure with red on top, down pressure, down. So we could, we could take this for seven pips. Let's go ahead and take this for seven pips. Uh, seven pips here. NZD USD. Uh, NZD USD. So NZD USD. I don't have that chart open, so let's open it. NZD USD. Let's see, uh, where's the template? Uh, we're going to 0.94. Oops. 0 0.94. Uh, we're going to sell. And we'll take seven pips down. Stop uh, give me a minute. And let's go back and take a look. So I'm going to take a stop loss. Six, six, nine, seven. Six six nine seven. Let's see what else we got. When you do your trades on Tuesday morning at six thirty, is that your usual trading time? Your routine? Your routine? That early? Um. Yeah, I start trading usually around six, like. At night, I might put in a, a uh, if I see a signal, uh, I might put in a pending, like a, a pending uh, buy stop or sell stop. If I think there's going to be, if it looks like it's setting up for a move uh, with the take profit. And uh, uh, we actually, uh, uh, the the uh, that uh, yesterday when I took that loss, I had a pending buy. In addition to the the buy limit I had, where it dropped down, and if it dropped down, it would it would buy, and then we'd ride it up. I also had a buy stop in there, so that if it didn't go down, I catch the ride up. Yeah, uh, right. So that so. Uh, so I, I kind of double hedged there. You know, I thought I'd get some extra by letting it go down and riding up. But yeah. just in case it didn't go down, I, I rode it up. Do you remember what price you executed at? No. no I, I, might, I might have gone, I would have looked at the chart and saw where, 
uh, I forget now if, if, if there was some resistance there or someplace, but I, you know, usually I've got it set. Um, I think I had it actually even set uh, above what the take profit was that we had. So I had the pending buy above that take profit. Be one of ten, that went nice. Um, so that when it when so if it if it started to run up, um, uh, uh, even though I uh, and, and the mistake I made is usually when I do that is I take off the stop loss because basically I'm hedging it at that point. So if it does go up, I'm covered, and I didn't take off the stop loss. That's why I get caught. So I was able to ride it up, but, but by the time I went back to look at it, the stop had already taken me out, and I should have taken it out when I put in the buy buy stop, and I just I missed it. You, you understand what I'm saying? So if I'm going to hedge it, so by putting in a, a you know a, a buy stop, I'm hedging the trade. If it starts going so much in the other direction. Uh, I'm going to buy, and I actually had it doubled up. I had the volume at 20 instead of 10. Uh, uh, but the the uh, when I do that, I'm supposed to take the stop off, and I didn't. Gotcha. I've been uh, doing a bit more hedging over the last few weeks. Man, I see this on me out. Yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big... Uh, uh, some of the people, uh, they don't promote it as much, but I, I love it. You know, edging is to me, if you catch it early enough, uh, and you've got the signal, you, you can fix any mistake that you make. True. Um, and it's, is it Mark also? Because he has uh, the edging. Uh, oh, uh, the A, that's Brett. Brent, I'm sorry. Yes, I think he's a big. Yeah, he's a big. He's a big. Uh, he does a lot of pending trades. Yes. Yeah. All right. Uh, JPY. So nothing here on uh, AutoCAD. J uh, Swiss Franc uh, Yen. Uh, all right. We got a nice buy signal. I like this buy signal. Nice and tight. Nice and steep. These two guys are going up. These two guys are going down. The blues are going down. So that's four there. Oh, I've got the uh, down pressure, and green is just about to cross. Uh, uh, when green crosses, this is a this is a nice buy trade. Not quite there yet. Uh, again, if if I uh, if I traded this more, uh, what was that? That was. Uh, Swiss franc yen. If I traded, if I traded this more, I might cheat a little bit, even though it hasn't crossed yet. But I'm not familiar enough. Uh, I'm not familiar enough with the with the currency, where I don't want to take it with real money. Uh, but if I were familiar with it. This looks very much like the uh, like the last one we had. It was like this. Uh, see, this is coming together and about to cross. Here we've got the green uh, already turning up. We've got up pressure with green down. And I don't like it enough. Let's let's pass. Here we're in the channel, just more than halfway. Here it hasn't turned. Here it's uh, uh, it's turned. Uh, we've got three. 
I prefer this to be a little steeper. Uh, 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 two, three here. Uh, I got green on top though, so nothing here. Uh, this is a nice setup. One, two, three. But uh, up pressure with green on top, so nothing there. Let's see if we get a a, a a thick orange line trade. No, 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 no. Uh, yes, but these lines aren't high enough for me. I don't like these lines. We could take a look at it at uh, at the top of the hour and see if this number changes by ten. Uh, but these aren't quite high enough for me to take that trade. Uh, minus 15, no. Minus 4, yes. AUD, JPY, all four lines are way up here, so I got a yes and a yes. Uh, Is that pressure? Uh, yeah, I'm not worried about the pressure. Not worried about the pressure. We're just looking for a little bounce. Uh, let's go back. Uh, AUD. What was that? Was JPY. AUD JPY. AUD JPY. Let's. Yeah, for a sell? Yeah. Where is this? E D E D J P Y. Okay. So a sell for five pips. Twenty pip stop loss. I want to make sure I get my full five pips, so I'm at uh, twenty two uh, twenty two nine. So if I take five away from that, I'm going to go to uh, uh, seventeen. Seventeen. That's close enough. I'm going to go ahead and take that. Um, let us see. Let's go back to the. NZD USD NZD USD Oh, the cross pulled off. These guys aren't quite turned yet. Well, we're going to stay with it. Uh, uh, we're going to stay with it. But I would have. Like right now, I wouldn't take this trade. Uh, but we're, you know, it's not quite strong enough. Uh, but we'll, we'll stick with it. Uh, let's see. Nothing here. We'll see how it changes in a minute. Let's see if we get any of the thick orange lines. AUD JPY. Yes and yes. Uh, see if we 
go into here. Oh, we already have a cell. All right, so yep. all right, so that was one we just took. A U D N Z D minus two E S. Ah, oh, it's got such a huge spread. Two pips. Um. I, I don't like the spread is so large. I'm gonna I'm gonna pass even though we have the signal there. Let's say hypothetically, Marty, we're gonna take the trade. How would you? I, I take a five pip sell. But, okay. But this the, the this is a thick orange line trade, but the spread is two, so we're giving away forty percent of it to the for the spread. So it's only three. You know, we're making three pips. It's not worth uh, not worth my time. I don't I don't like taking those three pip trades. Uh, nothing else here. No, no, no. Yes, but not yet. Nothing. So let's see what happens. So uh, what do we got? We got. AUDJPY, AUDJPY, and NCD. See how these changed here. All right, so the AUD JPY, we went from minus two to forty three. So that this is going to start turning. And what was the uh, what was the other trade? NZD USD. Holy smokes. All right, so it's, it's going down and, and the red is crossed over. So we're just going to have to wait for this. You know, this came down, but it's, we're going to have to wait. So, okay, Kelly. Hey, appreciate your time, Paul. Thanks a ton, man. I'm uh, looking for guidance on this, man. You can take answer. I love just learn from you every night. Thank you. Yeah, no, thank, thank you. Uh, all right, very good. Hope you're feeling better. We'll, Thanks, we'll, we'll talk to you later.